Okay, sometimes we have an overshoot dilemma where an actor will overshoot or getting them to stop at a specific point. It's a little tricky. So let's see if uh, we can do something with this simple set here. I want Benny to walk up to the window, let's say, and look out. Uh, added an eye prop sofa here, so let's have him go uh, sit down. Okay, and then let's have him stand up. And let's see if we can get him to walk to the window. Let's click on Benny and just do the simple move. Walk forward and try to get him to stop, you know, right there, let's say, right before the wall and the window. And, uh, yeah, does pretty good doing that. Uh, sometimes it's a little trickier. And, uh, do a perform a uh, move forward. Okay. Yep, I'm stopping way short. I clicked up here and he stops back there. Sometimes it's hard to get him to move exactly to the area you want. Now, obviously, one solution might be to move your set, and that way, no problem. That may not always work. So uh, let's see if there's another way we can get him to do what we need him to do. Uh, let's uh, look at Benny again and look at that command walk and let's delete that. And since he stopped so short, let's see if we can just get him to uh, go past the window and uh, then maybe we can yeah, get a little closer but still maybe not as close as I'd like him to get. So let's just take what we've got here and let's create a path and see what happens. Let's create a path and let's drop a node right here and put a node up here and hit escape to get out. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got a path. Let's bring up our animation timeline again here. Let's look at Benny and check see if we can constrain him to the path. So let's move in here and uh, pass a little off. So maybe let's tweak that path ever so slightly. Let's, let's grab that. Let's move it over here more between the feet. There we go. Okay, so now let's uh, select Benny and uh, yeah, let's select Benny that way. Okay, and let's move around here. And let's pick a path. Let's pick that first node there. Okay. Now he's on the path. He's constrained to that one point on the path. And of course, I think what will happen is he'll kind of slip and walk into place. Now we want him to get to here. And so let's uh, go down to the end of our walk cycle. And let's tell Benny to uh, pick a path. And let's click that last node there. So now, hopefully, he'll kind of slide, which is not good. Maybe we can tweak that a little bit. And he'll stop right there. Now, he kind of slips into place, so we can fix that slip at the end pretty easily. There we go. He's going to stop right there now every time. And that's good. Let's see if we can make this opening slide a little less problematic by sliding that a little bit down that node point and just do a little slide. Can't get rid of all of it, but got rid of some of it. Yeah, it's too far. And he jumps there. Tweak on that a little bit. Haven't figured a good way of getting rid of all that slide altogether. Feel free to let me know how to do that. Okay. Anyway, so he's following the path and going to stop right there at the window every time. So that's one way of constraining him, keeping him from overshooting the path. And we just kind of took that walk command and utilized it. So that's one way of doing it. There might be another way uh, that may give you a little more control. So let's try that. Let's delete that walk and let's go back to the beginning here and let's look at Benny's animation and let's add a walk in place animation and see what happens. So uh, I'm going to open the motion 
there and let's go to animation and let's go look over to motion and let's go over to a tray and there's tray move and then there's the walk so there's a number of walk in place animations there's a walk forward start that sounds pretty good let's put that in double click now he's going to walk start now let's walk forward there's a walk in so let's walk forward Okay, and let's make sure our loop is turned on. I think it is. Uh, there. Uh, where is the loop? Loop speed. There we are. Okay. And it's looping. Let's loop it three or four times. Okay, and let's stick an end animation in there. There's a walk end. Okay. So let's slide that down to get it a little better. Okay, let's see what that does. Stands up, slips into place, a little less slippage maybe. Okay. A little tight there. So let's look at adjusting that constraint. And there it is, right there. And let's take a look at adjusting that. And the computer locked up for a second there. Okay, gets up, walks in twice, walks over. Okay, pretty close. Let's play with that slider a little more. Yeah, a little too much slippage there. There we go, pretty close. And he'll stop in that place every time. So there's another way, potentially, of getting a character to stay on the mark, not overshoot the mark. Stop where you want to stop.